There is important research happening along Nebraska rivers, including the Elkhorn right here in the Omaha area. It's changing the way we understand how geography affects public health. Kevin Bouton spoke with experts at UNO who are taking a closer look at what's in the water. This will be our fifth season. UNO professor Alan Collick yeah. studies the Elkhorn River and what this water carries with it. So we're trying to generate a database where we have monitoring during the spring year after year after year after year. The Elkhorn watershed drains almost 4,000 square miles. After it rains, farm runoff flows into the river system. And that sediment very often carries chemicals along with it. So the chemicals will adhere to the sediment particles and migrate downstream associated with the sediment. During the spring and summer, when runoff is highest, Colic and his team put fish into river water to see how chemicals in the Elkhorn affect animals. Overall scientific world of water quality, that's not really well represented. So what we're trying to do is bring that piece to the overall table. This is a new way of looking at toxicity within our water. Because it's not tox a toxic compound where the compound will kill you. It's a toxic compound where it will alter your development. And he's observed some big changes so far. Well, here we have chemicals in this water that alter the reproductive signals, the steroids in the fish, so that female fish actually become less female. And while it's not clear what this means for humans because the Elkhorn isn't used for drinking water, Kalak will start similar testing on the Missouri River this summer, which is used by some cities for drinking water. So having a greater understanding of how all those pieces fit together is absolutely essential if we really want to safeguard pub the, the health of the public. Kevin Bouton reporting those tests and research projects typically start in the spring when it starts to rain more and farmers start placing new chemicals on their land.